Are y'all awake now? But anyhow, what was I saying before that? But anyway, we I don't I don't know. I don't know. I can tell you this, he 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 he's a God that can. Amen. I look back, I do not know. I do not know how we got that child through college. But I'm gonna tell you, there's an unseen hand. Amen. It's a pretty big hand. He knows how to take care. Amen. It's tough when you go through it. <clears throat> but boy, when you've seen handfuls on purpose fall off the wagon and God puts it in your lap, Amen. get you another day, get you another mile, get you another. Praise God, we didn't have two wooden nickels to rub together, but God got that girl through school. And I give him glory Amen. tonight. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Hallelujah. I'm about to lose it on y'all tonight. Who else? Who else? Who else? Real quick. I'm finished if y'all are. Amen. All right. Amen. I know we can go on. I know we can. Hey, Psalm 91 is where I want to go. If I had to go to Psalm, it would be a Psalm 91. I've got several go-to verses in the Bible. And uh, y'all make sure I'm not loud. If it's too loud, raise your hand or something, okay? Because I cannot tell whether it is or not. So y'all tell me, okay? Y'all okay? Is the volume okay? <laughs> All right, just set it and leave it alone, okay? Y'all all right? Is it okay? Yes. We don't want it too piercing. We're working on the system up there, and you guys are in front of me, so I can't hear the sound back here. So, but like I said, uh, there are several psalms. There are several verses of Scripture, New Testament, and that the Old Testament. You ought to get you some Bible verses that you can go to, amen? amen. When you need them, when you need help, when you need some encouragement, when you need some lifting, such is Psalm 91, all of Psalm 91, and I'm not going to really get out of verse 1 and 2 tonight in Psalm 91 tonight, but we'll read Psalm 91, verse 1 and 2 here, and maybe verse number 3. Psalm 91, y'all got it? Say amen. amen. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. He's my God. Can anybody say amen right amen. there? In Him will I trust. Amen. Surely, surely He hath delivered thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome, noisome pestilence. You see that? Amen. Uh, we have a wonderful Savior tonight. Amen. We have a wonderful God tonight. I, I want to tell you, uh, those who are enjoying uh, the stability and those who will enjoy the security and we can say the serenity uh, that comes from God's care, listen to me tonight, are those that have positioned themselves uh, under His care. Amen. If you want to enjoy God, you've got to get in the right place. You Amen. Amen. I'm enjoying the Lord tonight. How about you? Yep. I know that he reached down for me one day, as the song said. I can't testify for the rest of y'all. But I was there when he reached down for me. I've been there every time he's reached down since then for me. He's not only done it one time and delivered me and saved my soul. That's what got me on track, got me started. And I'm on my way to heaven. That's salvation. But how many of you can testify tonight he's had to reach down many times and pick you up and help Amen. you from struggles of life and difficulties and Amen. things like that. And that's where I'm going tonight. I'm really not going to be all that long, but I just want to bring this uh, encouragement to you tonight. Let's have a word of prayer and thank him as we've praised him tonight. We always read the word of God. We always like to pray over the scripture tonight. Amen. So let's praise him tonight. And thank you for being that God who is our Lord, who is our refuge. There's four names of God that we're going to look at tonight. We might only get two of them, but they're wonderful if you'll know the names of God tonight. There's many names for our Lord tonight, and you've got to get these names tonight because they all will bless you. Amen. amen. And if you don't amen me, I'll amen myself tonight amen. because I know what I'm going to preach on. Hallelujah. Because it's just wonderful to brag about the Lord amen. and the God. Amen. And the Almighty God, all these wonderful names of who He is tonight, you ought to just thank Him tonight. For who Amen. You know. Let's pray tonight. Father, thank You tonight for Your goodness. Thank You for Your love. Thank You for the encouragement that we can dwell 
uh, under the shadow of the Almighty. Lord, speak to our hearts tonight. Thank you for all the songs. Thank you for all the testimonies. Thank you for what our hearts are feeling tonight. And thank you for these faithful folks that have come back tonight on Sunday night to worship your name. Lead us, direct us, encourage us, bless those that couldn't be here that are sick and be with those tonight. We love them, Lord, and we pray you'd help them. Thank you for the word of God tonight and help us, I pray, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. <clears throat> now, I'm about to lose all my voice, so I'm going to hang on to the last gear I've got here. So I'm going to talk a little bit and try to cough through this right here. He that dwelleth in the secret place of, here's the first name, the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the second name, the Almighty. Two names here. There's four names in these two verses right here. And the Lord is asking you tonight, and the Lord is saying to you, and trying to encourage you tonight to do some dwelling. Amen. The word dwelleth. He that dwelleth. Uh, I like that word. This word, Hebrew word dwelleth. It's a great word in the Bible. It not only means to dwell, but I like this meaning. It means to sit down and make yourself at home. Amen. The word dwelleth means to sit down. He that dwelleth. He that sits down and makes himself at home shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Well, that didn't help any of you, so I'll keep on going. Hey. How many of you can say tonight, I'm in such walk with my Savior. I love the Lord tonight. I've positioned myself under His care. Are y'all with me tonight? Amen. That I can say tonight that I, I mean it speaks of His consistency, the word dwell. It speaks of His comfort. The place where you dwell is the place where you consistently live every day. Amen. Most of you have a home that you live in. You can go at home and uh, you live comfortably there. Amen. Right. My wife, I told you, she moves furniture at least every nine days in our house. Can I get an amen? <laughs> that didn't help nobody. Y'all do that? <laughs> and only my wife's contagious with that. Amen. I come in there the other day. She had my reading chair in the living room. Hallelujah. <laughs> thank you, Brother Kenny. I'm about to gag to death. Thank you, friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And she had the reading chair in the living room. And so I was anxious to see what was in the read, my reading room. Amen. And so I got back in there and there was another chair. But praise God, she got me a bench where I could prop my old fashioned feet up there. Amen. And so nothing changed. I still got me a chair, thank the good Lord, in my reading room. Amen. That's my comfortable spot. If you come up to my house, there ain't but one chair in that room, so that's all I got to say. Amen. It's a comfortable spot. Amen. There ain't nothing no more room for anybody else. Amen. Maybe a little three-year-old granddaughter, maybe jumping up in my arms. That's about it. But that's about all you get right there. We got a little living room, got two or three little chairs, and now you got another comfortable chair that came out of our room. It's in the living room now. You can sit in that when you come to our house. But anyhow, it's a comfortable place. Y'all got a comfortable place at your house? That's where I let my hair down. <laughs> Whatever's there, amen. Salt and pepper, turning more like salt than it is like pepper. Can I get an amen there? That's where I get comfortable. That's where I unwind. Amen. I mean, my wife comes in there sometimes, speaks in tongues and unknown languages, and says, get them britches off that floor there. Put your shoes up over here. I'm, a, I'm at home. Amen. I'm at home. I'm comfortable. Amen. You fellas don't have that problem. I can see that. Y'all's y'all wives got the sword out. I can see on y'all. Amen. But anyway, when I come home, I'm tall. Can I say that in North Carolina terms? I'm tired, amen, and I like to get comfortable. Y'all with me, I just like to plop it, if I can get a word there. And that's what I did. And, uh, but hey, the Lord says, hey, I want you to feel so at home with me that you'll come home and sit down 
with me and be comfortable with me. I want to be that kind of God. Yeah. He that dwelleth. Are y'all getting that Amen. word there or not? Amen. He that dwelleth. He that dwelleth. Dwelling under God's shelter is being comfortable with the Lord's leadership. Comfortable with yielding the control of your life to the Lord. Trusting in Him and His will with confidence, with joy, and with peace. It's a letting go of your will and, and getting under His will. Amen. I feel comfortable. Why? Because I've turned loose of my reins. And I've let the Lord control the reins. Amen. I'm comfortable with Him tonight. How about that? Amen. You know why a lot of people are quitting church? They're uneasy with the Lord. Right. Yeah. Are you at ease with the Lord? Are you comfortable with Him tonight? Many Christians are not at ease and they're not at home. But can you say tonight that you're at home with the Lord tonight? I, I, I just don't understand it. Is your relationship with Christ comfortable because everything's right between you and Him? Amen? Uh, Paul said it this way, and herein do I exercise myself, Acts 24, 16, <clears throat> to have always a conscience, a conscience void of offense toward God and toward men. There ought not to be anything between you and God tonight. Amen? If there's anything between you and God, God knows about it. You know about it because you don't have any peace. Amen? You say, preacher, you know what I, what I do about it? I'll tell you what you do. Clear it all up. Amen? Put it on the altar. Get it all cleared up. Amen? Amen. God will help you with that. Amen. i got to get to preaching here. Praise God. When we entrust our lives with God's care, we will abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. Two verses right here. And there's four names for this Almighty right here. Let's get a hold of these words right quickly. All four names reveal something about the character and the control and the care of God for us. God has many names. And the first one he, we see here is the word Elyon, if you will. It's the Most High. Look at that word again. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High. Amen. Amen. Most High. Hebrew word Elyon. It, it, his name means possession. Amen. The Most High. Get that down in your mind. He's the Most High. Oh, yeah. That means if He's the Most High, He's possessor of all. Heaven and earth. Amen. He controls it all. That's who he is tonight. Amen. Amen. He's the most high. Amen. I mean, heaven and earth. He owns everything. I mean, he's, he's to be number one. Why? He's the most high. That's who he is. The second name here, I'm going to go right along here because i got a lot of preaching here. He said the second name is the word almighty. Look at that word right there. He said, he that dwelleth in the, in the, uh, in the, he, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow, under the shadow of the Almighty. You got to get at home with Him. You got to get under His care. You got to get under the shadow. You with me? You got to position yourself there. And that boy, you run into the word El Shaddai, or Shaddai is the Hebrew word there. The word Shaddai means the term Almighty. Shaddai. It's a name used for God, but the name itself shows character. It shows compassion. It shows the capability of our Lord. Let me, let me teach you this word here at Shaddai tonight. It's a wonderful word. It has some great meanings and some wonderful preaching here. I mean, this word occurs 48 times in the Bible, this word almighty. Are y'all with me? 48 times in the word of God. Now get this right here. His name, it, it, the word Shaddai means character, compassion, capability. 31 times out of the 48 times the word mighty 31 times it's shown in the book of Job. Are y'all with me? You say, preacher, what's this all about here? The Almighty. Can I tell you, does anybody know the story of Job tonight? Amen. Job was attacked by the devil. You and I are attacked by the devil. Amen. And God had to show himself almighty to a man that needed help. Amen. I'm going to tell you 31 times Job realized Amen. that he is an almighty God. He said, Amen. I know my Redeemer lives. Amen. And Job realized the capability of an almighty God in the face of a devil who was attacking him and beating him up. Amen. I'm going to tell you tonight we need an almighty God. Amen. We need that Shaddai in our lives. Amen. 
And we see here the, the word Shaddai is the same name by which uh, God revealed himself to the patriarchs like Abraham, Isaac, and also Jacob. Genesis 17, 1, he says, when Abram, get this, when Abram was 90 years old and 90, 99 years of age, like Miss Louise, I mean Abram, he said, the Lord appeared unto Abram and said unto him, he said, I am the Almighty God, walk before me and be thou perfect, amen, aren't you glad at age 99, the God of heaven, the Almighty God has never forsaken you, has never forgotten you, he still has the capability to be the Almighty God, amen. amen. Boy, that's easy preaching. Praise God. That'll make your mule run right there if you think about it. Amen. If you think about how God blesses us and how He's the Almighty. Amen. You see, uh, this name means all powerful, Shaddai. It means it, it reveals the capability and the power of God to do anything. Do you believe Amen. God's capable to do anything? Amen. Well, he is. Amen. Right. Luke 137, for with God nothing shall be impossible. That's Amen. enough for you tonight. Amen. Right. I love this verse right here. Shaddai also means that he uh, he's the God of compassion. He, it, uh, it talks about the compassion of God. Get this right here, and this will bless you right here. The word Shaddai seems to be derived from another word, Shad, S-H-A-D. It cuts the word in half, if you will. And the Hebrew word shad there, the shad, the word shad is used 24 times in the Word of God, giving you a Hebrew lesson here. And the word for Almighty talks about the compassion of God. Listen to me, ladies. The word shad carries the idea, it's translated breast. A breast. All right? You say, well, what's that mean? In the same way that a mother, a mother's breast is all sufficient. For her newborn's nourishment, God is all sufficient for his people. Amen. Amen. John got in the bosom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He got up in his bosom right there. You know why John? Because John's name means beloved. And he wanted to get in the bosom of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm getting excited while I'm preaching up here, by Amen. the way. Praise God, I want to say to you tonight, He's an Almighty God, and you can get up close to Him, you can get in His bosom, praise God, and He'll show you He's the all-sufficient God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Amen. I'm going to amen myself. Y'all go to sleep. Amen. 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 It's good. Isn't He all-sufficient? Yeah. Has He ever let you down? No. Has He ever let anybody down? No. Mm. My soul, my soul. I got 10 minutes to preach an hour and a half message. How am I going to do that? Amen. Let's look at some things real quickly. When we think about God taking care of us, let's look at some things here. Such as the truth like an anchor in the, in the time of anxiety. Not one of us has got or has been through some kind of trouble or some kind of anxiety. And God is trying to encourage you tonight in Psalm 91 that if you'll set yourself up, and be at home, dwell under the shadow of the Most High, under the shadow of the Almighty. He will be the sufficient one in your time and in your need. Amen. I financially been broke sometime. Thank God uh, he was able and sufficient to take care of my finances. Amen. I've been sick at times where God had to step in, seen sickness all my ministry. Uh, we've got a lot of sickness going on in our church. And one after another, family after a family, I've seen an all all yes. sufficient, Almighty God, Amen. always step in and Amen. take care of us. Amen. Amen. Well, praise God. I don't know where this preaching's coming from, but I'm enjoying it myself. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Submitting to His care, submitting to the Lord's help, uh, and abiding under His shadow, living under the shadow of the Almighty, we see provoke several insights in our lives as we ought to live. Let's look at some of these things under the shadow. Let, let's look at this. Number one here. Shadow living. Amen. Because you're dwelling there. You're under the shadow of the all-sufficient one. The, the one that takes care of you and has the capability of doing it. The Almighty. Shadow living speaks of delicacy and defense. Shadow living. Now get what I'm saying here. Shadow living, living under the shadow, speaks of delicacy and defense. Plants grow mainly in the shade, uh, that are uh, mainly in the shade, are sensitive to burning and overexposure in the heat of the sun. Is that not right? They're delicate. You know that. 
Our life too. You and I are always, each and every one of us, if you think about it, our lives are delicate. And praise God. I mean, our lives are a vapor. We're here for a little time, the Bible says, and then we vanish away. For this reason, we need to be under his care and be under his protection. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, God is our defense. He stands between us and that which can harm us or drain our strength. Amen. Miss June said it tonight, wonderfully tonight. She needs the strength of God. She's down there at the house. Amen. And she needs a God. We have several widows in our church. How'd you like to go home by yourself? Nobody there. Nobody around. Preach it, brother. And I'm going to tell you, there's a God, praise God, in the delicate moments of that situation that will come to our defense. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. And when you get down in the dumps, when you feel like you're alone, I'm telling you by the Holy Ghost of God, as sure as I'm speaking, He'll walk in the room and be that what you need at the right on time. Amen. 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 Thank God that makes me want to praise Him tonight. Amen. Amen. I like that. Living under His shadow indicate, indicates closeness and demands that we stay close to Him and in His shadow. My encouragement to each and every one of us is tonight to stay close to the Lord. Amen. 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 Stay close because even though we have are delicate and even though we have, but we have a God that will come to our defense. Amen. Amen. And James 4, 14 says, Whereas you know not what shall be on tomorrow, we don't know. For what is your life? It's an even a vapor. Here for a little time and then vanish to the way. Amen. We need to depend on the God who's our defense tonight. Amen. 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 Let's get a hold of number two real quickly. How about shadow living? It not only speaks of delicacy and defense, but I like this one right here. Shadow living is dictated by the direction of another. Shadow living. We're talking about a shadow here. Are y'all with me? It's dictated by the direction of another. When you live in someone else's shadow, your direction is determined by the object casting the shadow. Right, amen. In this instance that we're talking about, we're under the shadow of who? The Almighty. Amen. amen. Hello. He's your shadow. How big is God to you tonight? Amen. I'd say, Brother Dave, that's a pretty big shadow. We just said he's over the heavens and the earth. Amen. Right. He's the possessor of all. Amen. Amen. I would say if he's an almighty God, he who made the earth, the heavens, the stars, the moon, and the sun, I'd say he's a pretty big God. That means he's got a pretty big shadow. Amen. Amen. Are y'all seeing that? Oh, that blesses me. You're not making the shadow. Something else is doing. Someone else is doing this. Amen. We are to follow God's shadow. We follow his direction. And, he, and will for our lives. Letting him lead us day by day. Amen? Amen. If I could just do any encouragement to you tonight, just get under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen? Let him lead. I mean, Psalm 32, 8 says, I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou goest. I will guide thee with mine eyes. The, the, David said, Lord, Lord, David found out when he sinned against God, got it all right with the Lord. He found out that the Lord is the one that guides him. He just needs to get under the shadow. Amen. 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 I look back at my life and I was thinking about this. And boy, I can't do nothing but thank God. Many of you heard me say many things about this. But I, I look back and I, I just can't help but praise God. Yeah. And, and, and really, I, I've tried in my life. And I don't know if many of you have been saved longer than I have. We, I mean, I, I, I had people... Hold her hand up in Sunday school. Some of them been saved 40, 50. Mr. Marito here 60 years. I'm telling you, I think Brother Carter and Moses sang together in the choir. I ain't sure about all that. But anyway, tell him I said that. <laughs> but these folks have been saved longer than I've been alive. Amen. That's a wonderful thing. But praise God, uh, we've got to get under that shadow. Amen. And I look back and, and, and I've tried and I, I see. I see things, uh, particular things, and, and monumental things in my life where I have had to get under the shadow oh, yeah. and trust God right there. Amen? Amen. It wasn't, I was adding it up, it wasn't 28 years ago, something like that, right down here in Radford, right there, uh, between Route 11 going toward Pulaski, I was in the driveway of our church. And I was praying about moving to Florida. My dad moved to Florida, took a church. 
And I had a good job. I was working at bread company and all that good stuff. And the Lord had been speaking to me. And I, I, and I had, it took a test of faith. And I didn't know how to, I was young. And I knew the Lord wanted, I wanted to finish my school and my Bible college. And I, did, and I didn't know all that at the time. Didn't understand all that at the time. And I knew God was on me. And he was moving in my life. And I was trying to obey and seek his will. And didn't know how to do all that. I was sitting in my in the, in the driveway, and the Holy Ghost of God spoke to my heart and said, move to Florida. Just like that. I, I can take you to the spot. I can take you to my car. And Buddy Road, I'm telling you, I walked in the house, and I told my wife, and, and I, you know, we were praying about it, trying to get the, the right discernment. Listen to me. I got under that shadow, and it was the greatest, the greatest thing that I ever did that God ever moved in my life. I moved to Florida, got into school, finished my schooling, and God put me on the right track toward preaching, and here I am. Amen. Praise God. Amen. How many times have you done that? Have you seen God do the same thing in your life? Right. Amen. Monumental things if you just get under the shadow and let Him direct your life. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful thing. Let's get a hold of this one real quickly. Shadow living not only speaks of the uh, of the dictator of the one direction uh, of the direction from another, but shadow living speaks of deference and submission. When you get under the shadow, you've got to go with the shadow. Right. Amen. It takes submitting to Him. Mm -hmm. Do you realize God's leading your life? Amen. You understand that? He's leading my life. Sometimes He moves this way. That Old Testament cloud, it was a cloud by day and fire by night. Sometimes it would stand still. And Israel would park it right there, that tent. And other times that thing would move and they had to get up and move with God. Are y'all with me? Right. That happens in every one of you in your life. You're saved. Amen. It might be a financial situation. God might be showing you something about a job. Amen. Are y'all with me? He's done that in my life before. Showed me before I was preaching there. He might be moving in a situation. And I just want to say it in just Old Testament terminology. That cloud might move. And if you're going to get it, you listen. I believe it to be the prodding and the working. If you pray every day, read your Bible, and stay in tune and stay under the submission of an almighty God, I'm telling you he's capable to nourish you and help you and lead you. Amen. Amen. There's Amen. no way you can miss it if you'll stay with God. Amen. 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 I believe you can. Amen. Something else out there and something else in front of us. There's something else on top of us. When you're, when you're in the shadows, you are, you are in the back and underneath something. Amen. He's on top and he's the one we need to submit to. And the purpose of our lives as Christians uh, is to bring honor and glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. Stop right now and do an examination on your own self today. Your own heart. Father, if you do, do an exam examination on your family. I led my family. had three kids. Amen. I know what it's like to bring Bubba's to church. Amen. Right. I see Amen. these mamas coming in here. And they're squalling and screaming. And I, I, I've been through all that. Amen. We've been through all that. Amen. I couldn't take them out and whoop them, even though I wanted to. My wife carried a spoon that long in church. Katie was abused in church all her life. <laughs> Amen. We didn't take them outside. My wife pulled that salad spoon out and said, Wah! <laughs> right in church. While I was looking right at her, she dared to cry too. I wouldn't do nothing of that. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do none of that. She loves God more than I, probably more than her daddy does. All right. Hello. Amen, brother. Don't beat him. If you don't, I mean, you can't knock what, what, what's been successful. She might fall off the deep end tomorrow and go out into the world. But I'm trying to tell you, I kept my children in church. I kept my family in church. I kept them under the Word of God. I kept them under old time religion. I kept them under the power of God. I kept them under the Bible. I kept them with God. And now all of them are saved. And all of them love God. And all of them want to go to church. Amen. Graduated from Bible college, married a preacher. He's a Yankee. I ain't sure I approve all that right now, but I'll get over it. Amen. 
Get under the shadow. Amen. Follow his leading. Amen. And surrender and be submissive and get rid, get rid of all of you and give it all to him and let him lead it. He can do a better job than you can. Amen. Right. Let go and let God have it. Amen. Amen. The greatest day of your life is when you let God have it and submit under that cloud. Amen. I've got a few minutes after eight, so I see I'm going to have to close. Amen. Shadow living. Get this one. I don't like preaching this one. Shadow living demands patience. Amen. Sometimes when something, when something, get this, when something is in the shadow, I got to thinking about this and it helped me. When something's in the shadow, the timing, the timing of daily events is different. I live up there on that hill up there. Pretty good sized little hill called Porter's Mountain. I went up and seen the baby yesterday. Frank, I thought I was high. Frank Leonard lives on the top. I think I saw angels up there yesterday when I went. Paul, you can, I tell you, there ain't nowhere you can look across. You can see the Lynchburg, you can see on the other, you can see. Uh, What's that Lake Smith Mountain Lake on top of his house down there? I mean, you can see the world up there. I've got envious and jealous and lustful, and I'm I just coveted it. I wanted everything on top of that mountain. The cows, too. Hallelujah. Man, it's beautiful up there. And I got to thinking about that. You know, you know, uh, we, 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 it's, it's the reason I'm saying all that about up on the mountain. When it's snow, I mean, you can leave here and the sun will be shining down here. The time you get up top, there might be a cloud and you can't see you can't see your hand out there. You'd be in the cloud. It could be doing nothing up here like I've seen this winter. The time I got up the top, I seen snowflakes as big half dollar size on top. It was snowing like crazy the time I got up top of that mountain. Are y'all with me? When the sun comes up in my house, the front door. It comes up. Sun does come up in the east, does it not? But anyway, I just checked some of y'all. It comes up in the front of my house, the front yard. We open the door in the morning, and our dog will get right up to that window because she loves that sunshine that comes up over them trees when it hits the front of the house. My wife and I usually have prayer time at that time, and that dog sitting right there in the front of the house. She likes that sunshine. It's shining on this side, but on the other side of the house. It's cold on that side. The wind comes up from the bottom of that mountain down there. And Buddy, there's shade on our big deck in the back there. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's shade and it's cold. When it snows, amen, everything melts on this front side. But boy, I mean, when that wind gets to stirring up, uh, we had two feet on the back of our deck back there this year, and I had to plow me a, a, a row there when everything else was melted. It was still piled up in the shade because it took so much longer time. It took so much time. I left today at, the, at 4 o'clock, 4.30 up there on the mountain there, and the sun finally had gone to the back. It was so hot, I couldn't even see on that deck in the back of the yard. I got in the front yard, and it was all shade up there. I said, my goodness gracious. But you know what? It takes time. Right. Things don't go as fast as you want them to go in the shadow. Right. In the shadow. you got to be patient. I've had to learn that as a preacher. Y'all see this gray hair? It's because there's no patience. Brother Carter. Amen. Amen. Y'all have any idea what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. I mean, Brother Steve, back in the glory days when I was young and handsome and, you know, and I was full of vigor and I could preach, some Lucy Long Tongue come in our church. She had a tongue about as long as from here to the wall over there, talking about everybody, trashing everybody with her big, can I just say it, her big mouth. Old wildfire here, before it's over with, I'd have her preach plumb out in 460. She would never come. She was she's afraid to raise her head up. I'd throw so much Bible out, I'd cut her so many ways. You thought I'd took a butcher knife out and cut her so many ways. By the way, 
I still believe preaching that way, but I've learned to be patient. Y'all looking at me like a cat looking at a new gate. Right? You say, we got any long tongues around here? I'm going to touch that one. I'm going to leave that one alone right there. Amen. You got to learn how to be patient. Amen. You short fuse husbands, can I get an amen, fellas? Amen. amen. I are there, been there, done that. You got to learn how to be patient. Amen. Amen. I've learned how to do that. And instead of, you know, we live in a fast paced society, and it's as if we, we need God right now. No, you don't need God all the time. You know what you need to do? You need to remember where your position Right. Under the shadow right. of the Almighty. Amen. 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 And instead of you taking care of everything that comes down the pipe Amen. and getting your hands on it, I've learned to have to be patient with a lot of people. I've had to be patient with some people in this church since, since I've been here. Amen. Because they've tested everything that's been inside of me. Amen. And it's under God that I just want to reach out and grab them and say, what are you doing? What is wrong with you? What's the matter? But I've had to step back and say, hey, Lord, I'm under your hand. And I, you're the almighty God. And if I'll just be patient, guess what? The snow will melt. Right. Amen. Amen. The snow will go away. And the things that are in the shadow that I don't understand all the time. And if I'll just stay there and be patient, God will take care of it. Amen? Amen. Amen. He has a way and He has the capability. He has the gift. He is the Almighty. Amen? Amen. Sometimes we've got to wait on the Lord. And I've had to learn that the very hard way. Because I are, like most men, impatient. Especially when it comes to the things of God. Yeah. And sometimes I just want to say, what is wrong? I hear people say things and I'll just, I just cringe sometimes. And I say, where in the world did they get that? I mean, good gracious. And I just want to reach out and I, I've got to realize. I've got, I said something today about that little fellow with his hair. Hey Amen. Y'all catch that? Hey Amen. I meant what I said, but here's the get, here's the problem. I'm 45 years ahead of that little boy. Are y'all with me? Spiritually. He don't know about things. He don't know what he's doing. Mom and daddy are learning too. And the old preacher man's got to be a little bit of patient. I pray that God will grow him up and God will help him. And God will teach him where we won't have the Lord will help him one of these days. Amen. 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 But it is my job to lead him. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we just got to be patient because you're under the shadow of the Almighty. Right. Hey, position yourself under the one who's capable. He's an Almighty God. Amen. Amen. Having problems? Having problems at home? Having problems at work? Having problems with your finances? Having problems with your children? Having difficulties with church? Another brother or sister in church? Come on! Be patient. I know somebody's capable. Amen. Amen. Huh? And he that is at home, he, this is what the Lord wants me to do. Come over here, David, and sit down. He that dwelt in the sickly place Amen. of the Most High yes, sir. shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. Amen. God just wants you to come over here and sit down and position yourself. Watch Him move. I'm here tonight in Virginia. Because down there in North Carolina, the cloud moved. Are you with me? Amen. 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 I don't know how to say this, just say it. It's just the work of the Holy Ghost, Brother Carter. And I had a couple phone calls with the deacons of this church, and I already knew that God wanted me in Blue Ridge, Virginia. 
Amen. And I came up here and y'all drilled me to the third degree. Asked me all kinds of questions and all kinds of things. I answered the best I could. And uh, I got voted on. Amen. And if you uh, told me they didn't vote for me, and I know who they are. Hello. <laughs> They'll get over it. Amen. Amen. <laughs> they missed the will of God because guess what? I was supposed to be in Blue Ridge, Virginia. Amen. Not because of you. The class moved. Amen. 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 I'm just under the cloud. If you ever lose that cloud, uh oh, I'm going with the cloud. That's right. Because there's an Almighty. He'll deliver you and lead you because He is capable. Amen. Amen. I don't know what it is tonight, but I hope that God will encourage every one of you to stay positioned under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. Amen. Y'all need that tonight. I Amen. needed that tonight. Amen. I'm glad he reached down his hand for me. Thank you, fellas, for that song. Amen. Let's all stand Amen. tonight and give God the glory and give God the praise and thank him. You read all of Psalm 91 and it'll be a blessing to you. He's got wings, and that's what Psalm 91. He's got, he'll put you under his feathers. He'll caress you. He'll, he'll have compassion on you. We've got an almighty God. Amen. 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 He loves Amen. everyone. I hope tonight that y'all help each other and every one of you. Lord, I'm going to stick with the Lord. I'm going to stick with the one that's in all my That's all right. Let's pray. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we come, Lord, we just give a song. We just sing a song tonight. Lord, we, we, we'll just sing an invitation song. But, Lord, more than that, we want to praise you tonight because we needed direction in our lives. Lord, I look back and I can't help but praise you. I remember stepping out in evangelism, Lord, and you wanted me to take my entire family and hit the road. That was a hard thing. Lord, it, it, took a, it took a test of faith, but Lord, you moved the cloud, and I just tried to follow you. And I tried to follow in your shadow, Lord, and I want to say, Lord, I want to testify, you've been so good to me. Thank you for being so good to all of us. And if every one of us tonight were really to testify like we were doing a while ago, we couldn't help but praise you and thank you for the good hand of God. And I pray, Lord, that our encouragement would be tonight that we'll follow Jesus and realize that he's the most high. He's the Lord. He's the Lord God. He's the Almighty One. Lord, you possess all things. You're powerful. You're over all things. And, Lord, you're compassionate and you're concerned, and you have character, and, Lord, it's all about you tonight. We can't brag enough about you. Help us to be at home and dwell there. Lord, challenge us tonight to be there. Challenge moms and dads, and challenge families tonight to have their families there. Lord, my home wants to be there. My wife wants to be there. My, my children want to be there. I want to be there, Lord. I pray that we'll dwell there, and Lord, You'll show us how wonderful and almighty you are. Thank you for the truth tonight. Thank you for the shadow of the almighty. Speak to every heart now. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. What number is it, buddy? Let's sing 508 tonight. Maybe you're sitting here tonight and you say, Preacher, I've never thought about where I need to be positionally. I tell you, if you're determined and decide tonight, decide tonight you're going to move your family there. Side tonight, that's where you're going to be. Thick or thin, we need to be under that almighty hand. Amen? Amen. Let's sing the song tonight and God spoke to your heart. Maybe you're here tonight and you're not sure you're saved. God's speaking to you tonight about salvation. You've never had your name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. I'll tell you tonight, he's a Savior tonight. He was so compassionate, he died for your sins tonight. Don't go home without the Lord tonight. Put Christ in your heart. Get under that shadow and realize he loves you tonight. He'll save you tonight. God's speaking to you about salvation. You come. We'll take the Bible and help you tonight. Let's sing the song. You obey the Lord tonight. I was so through it all. I've learned to trust in God Hallelujah. through it all. Praise through God. it all. I've learned to depend on His word. Yeah, through it all. Through it all. Through it all. Almighty God. Almighty. 
might have had a lot of burdens, a lot of heartaches, but I'm going to tell you something tonight. You hear a preacher tonight. It's been a wonderful journey. It'll be a wonderful journey for you. You can get up and you let him have it. One more time. Let's sing it through it all. I feel the Holy Ghost here tonight. Amen. Sing it, man. Sing it, man. Amen.